everybody and welcome to Everything That's Wrong With Me, part one of 712. Well, as the first half of season nine is over now, we are into the hiatus and they have very kindly given us another mid-season special. And I didn't realise until I uh, got a hold of it that it's actually an hour long. So it's a full feature length special. So yay! Um, that does mean, however, that this will be split up into uh, a couple of parts. Hey, sometimes the good things are worth waiting for, and sometimes people like me keep you waiting for no reason. The special is called Rainbow Road Trip, which I presume means that they're all going to go on an epic journey and things are going to blow up along the way. Because that's just the way it goes in these worlds. Right, well that's enough speculation on it. Let's put the headphones on, start the thing going, and see where it takes us. I got your message. Oh, okay, straight into it. Ah, oh, it's, it's the movie style. They got it in the movie style again. Awesome. My bag is packed, so a song is playing. See that? That's how to pack, but unfortunately, it doesn't work like that in the real world. Wow. Okay, they really did go all out again, didn't they? Road trip. Okay, not technically a road trip because we're taking that. Sky trip. Actually, that, that sounds like something you'd be kicked out of a party for taking, so maybe not. <laughs> wow, apparently Rainbow's learned a new skill. She can fly really fast while flying really slow. I'm gonna be you. No, I'm gonna... Okay, Rainbow, we already know the speeds she can pull. Don't, 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 don't even try. Okay, I was fourth. Yeah, well, I was fifth. So, <laughs> who are we waiting on? And I don't think anyone cares. Don't worry, we wouldn't have left without you. Well, that goes without saying, darling. After all, Rainbow Dash is the guest of honor at the Rainbow Festival. Um, okay. Rainbow Dash is guest of honor at a Rainbow Festival. This is, I, I suppose, they've all got to be guest of honor at some point for something because they're heroes. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to pack up a few books and papers to grade. And by few, she means slightly less than I'm able to lift. Ugh. Well, Spike, that's what you're for. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be a non-stop fun party! Yeah. Reading papers is fun. Uh, there's no accounting for what people find enjoyable. <sighs> Let her loose, Spike! Okay, yeah, if she's actually bringing that sort of thing, then Twilight may have to fly behind the balloon anyway. And feel free to file those class assignments while I'm gone. It's my top priority! Wait, what? They're not taking him with them? Not cool. Um, why aren't we going anywhere? Because of the extra weight the Twilight brought. Sorry to do this, Twilight, but... <clears throat> my papers! Schoolwork? <gasps> Ow. S seriously, you're just gonna chuck the students' schoolwork out of the basket and just... go without it. I mean, okay, Spike was there, but... Ooh. Nice catch. You don't want to lose that. It's mentioned something about a spa in... Where is it we're going again? Hope Hollow. Or, as I like to call it, Rainbow Dash Fan Central. R the, what, the whole place is a fan of her? You're gonna be like this the whole trip, ain't you? You know it. I mean, look at this letter. They love me there. Uh... Am I the only one smelling a trap here? Our guest at this year's famous Hope Hollow Rainbow Festival. The many members of your fan club... Ahem. <coughs> <sighs> I get the feeling she's actually probably got as much of a fan club as I have at the moment. Just, She's just really hyping it up. Your every whim will be catered to. Oh, I accept that challenge. I have so many whims. Oh, look. There's a famous butterfly garden, too. Uh -huh. You know, it's strange that we never heard of this festival before, especially since everything in the town is so well known. Yeah, also there seems to be a little bit of something to entice all of them, I'm presuming. You can eat treats at the traditional Rainbow Bakery booth, sing your favorite rainbow theme songs at the karaoke competition, bakery and karaoke! Yeah, okay, this is something to entice all of them. This is a trap, isn't it? And try our famous rainbow trout catch and release activity. Now that sounds right up my river. Plus, we get to watch the mayor give Rainbow Dash an award! I've got dips on the cheering section! It's 
lucky she always manages to bring the right cannon with her. I mean, you you fire off the wrong cannon in a hot air balloon and you're going down fast. It's going to be one more party, which starts now. A hundred bottles of pop on the wall, a hundred bottles of pop. Take one down, pass it around, 99 bottles of pop on the wall. Well, this will help pass the time. <laughs> two bottles of pop on the wall, two bottles of pop. Wow, it, it must have been pretty much dusk when they started, because it's taken this long to get through 100 bottles. And now one more jam! A hundred bottles of pop on the wall! Thank you. Six times too many? Right, okay, apparently she's done it more than once. Okay, never mind. Maybe we should have turned left at that last cloud instead of right. You're in a hot air balloon. I, I admit that this is Equestria and they have magic and Pegasi and unicorns and things, but you don't really get to steer a hot air balloon. I spy with my little eye a rainbow! The eyes. The eyes. Wow, that's the biggest rainbow I've ever seen. And we're heading right for it! Yes. Don't worry, it's... we'll pass right through it. Rainbows aren't so... Uh, no, I'm thinking this one's... There we go. An installation. I don't think that's a rainbow. It's a rainbow billboard. Oh. And it's going over. Um, t Twilight, some magic, please. On, every pony. Twilight, magic, please. Magic that you could have. She could have fixed that. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I know I'm supposed to be. Oh no, they can. Oh wow. Okay. That is quite a f that is quite a long way down. They may actually die. But Twilight could easily have dealt with that. Oh, they're probably not going to be happy about their billboard coming. Was that in the sky? Was that billboard in the sky? Because that was a long way down. Okay, I'm I'm just going to go with because rainbows and magic. Welcome to Hope Hollow. Festival. We've arrived. And there's no pony here to greet us? Well, you did kind of crash down in the middle of nowhere. It's outskirts of everything. Did you let her say where our hotel is? Uh, the middle of town. Convenient. Hmm. Doesn't really help much when you don't know where the middle is. Well, you're at the edge now. <laughs> Just pick a direction, you'll find it. So hang on, that rainbow billboard broke off from the gates there by the look of it. It was much bigger way up and it fell a long way. So that was one tall gate. Um, hmm. This isn't exactly looking like a festival zone. It seems like the whole town's shut down. Oh look, there's some pony. Uh, everything's looking a little bit grayscale. Hmm. Maybe you can help us. We're here for the Rainbow Festival. Oh, so you're the sacrifice. I mean, guests of honor then. Where I'm the guest of honor. <laughs> oh, for crying in the mud. What's Sunny done now? Oh, who did what? Could you direct us to the Hope Hollow Luxury Resort? Oh, oh, oh you mean the hotel? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's easy. There's only one in town. Could you uh, give us directions? Yes. You're there. I mean here. Hotel Hope. Yep, yeah, adding a bit of light is not helping with the lack of any sort of colour. Hotel Hope. My name's Petunia Petals, by the way. Hello! <laughs> I'm the librarian here. And the information guide. And the hotel manager. A historian? Yeah. Uh, is there actually anyone else in the town at all? Or are they all various personalities of hers? You just wait one hoof shake and I'll take you to the room. The room? There's only one. Uh, you've, you've, they've slummed it before. Here it is. The royal suite. And what, you're keeping hold of the only key? Ooh. Charm 
coming. Yeah, okay. Are we going to end up in a sort of rainbow factory situation here where they're going to try and drain these guys to restore a bit of color to the town? Oh, there's a pop-out too. It can be a little tricky. And a little asthma inducing. Did any pony notice anything strange about Petunia? Other than that she just called this place the Royal Suite? I... Everything is strange here. I, I think she's just fitting in. Huh? And look. <laughs> it comes with a cute little spider. Hello, spider. Spider and cute do not belong in the same sentence. Hmm. Uh, Unless, of course, you're Fluttershy. I didn't know what I was getting you into. Oh. The most important thing is we're all together. Well, to be fair, you should all have found it a little bit suspicious when somewhere you've never heard of invites to a festival you didn't know existed and there was a little bit of something for absolutely everyone. It's kind of red flags all over here. Why is every pony looking at us? Right, okay, so at least there are other ponies in this place. Maybe they recognize Rainbow Dash. Princess Twilight, but probably me. Or it could be any slash all of you. You're all going to be quite famous by now. Grey. What do you mean? Look around. Well, the colours here are gone. And now, now they are finally realising this. They've been walking around in this grayscale place. They've spent a night in the room. And now they realise that something's amiss. They knew something was different, but this is so weird. Huh? From the way they're gawking at us. Yeah, no, I'm with him there. I mean, they just kind of went quiet when he was going past. I, I, I get a little suspicious about that myself. <laughs> Quit shoving! Shoving? Oh, oh, bit of conflict going on. These are pro-level moves I'm doing, sis. Presumably, yep, there we go. Presumably twins. <laughs> And you know that that is that is not cooperative flying. Sorry, but you need to be more cooperative. <laughs> okay. So someone apparently recognized her, or are they just awed by the fact that they're in color? Watch where you're going. You don't own the sidewalk, you know. Well, I never. No, I presume that you always. Well, look at that. Some ponies fixing up our balloon. Uh, fixing up, stealing, it's a fine line, really. This is unfortunate. Bad with a side of terribly awful. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> hey. Hurry. So, what? Is color banned in this place or something? Oh. <laughs> Well, stuff me in an olive and call me a pimento. I, I'd really rather not. Rainbow Dash, you made it. Uh, it is you, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. Well, the answer to that question is always yes. If someone asks you if you are you, the answer is you, you can't really say no, can you? Welcome to the Hope Hollow Annual Rainbow Festival. And what, you've been draining all the colour to power the rainbows? And you must be... Sunny Skies. The mayor of this lovely town, and pleased as a poplar tree to meet you. So, he's a stallion mayor? Sorry about your rainbow billboard, Mr. Mayor. It was dark and... Oh, don't give it a second thought. That old thing needed repair anyway. I haven't used it since... Uh, <laughs> well, never mind. Right, I'm guessing this annual festival has not been the same in quite a while. Meet Torque Wrench, our town handy pony. She offered to repair your Ooh, balloon for okay. you. He volunteered me. <laughs> She'll have it fixed in a jiffy. If by jiffy you mean this'll take all day. <laughs> okay, yeah. See, equal opportunities in engineering. Petunia Petals let us in. Oh, well, of course she did. She's something, I'll tell you what. I'd be lost without her. I mean the... the, the... Oh, right. Okay, I think someone just let on a little more something, a little something more than they intended to. Oh! <laughs> you spotted that, did you? Well, it's a long story. Uh, why don't I show you the town highlights first? Uh, what, a slightly lighter shade of grey? He 
here's our famous outdoor spa with the all-natural mud bath. Uh... Pretty, huh? It's mud? Yeah. Oh. Maybe we could see some of the Rainbow Festival activities from the brochure. Of course! The bakery booth is there. Huh? No, it isn't. And the butterfly garden? Oh, that's right over here. You're kidding me. <gasps> Does anyone remember that Santa's Village fiasco from a while back? Uh, what with the flowers not having colour and all, the butterflies don't really come around much anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm almost afraid to ask, but the brochure mentioned fishing. Fishing? Well, not sure what you mean. Our famous rainbow trout? <laughs> not sure what you mean. Well, these literal words here. Uh, he's right over, uh... Ah, that's funny. Where'd our trout go? Oh, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I'm uh, just taking my lunch now, okay? Wow, the trout, they, they haven't even got a real trout. It's a guy in a trout costume. The brochure also mentioned the karaoke contest? Right here. See, that's the closest thing to what they have actually advertised the, the, in all this time. Your rainbow festival isn't quite as you described. And the resort hotel wasn't what it was cracked up to be either. Except for all the cracks. I was going to make that joke. She beat me to it. That's not fair. Well, maybe I exaggerated a little, but... Uh, exaggerated a little? I, I think the Trojans were more honest when they got inside the walls. Believe me, I didn't mean to... Bring us here for nothing? Think of all the papers I could be grading. If you just let me... We should leave this very moment. Come on, he obviously got you there for a reason. Hear him out here. We should let the mayor explain. <clears throat> uh, guess I should start at the beginning. Yes, you really should. Next door neighbors chatting over whitewood fences. Right, so this is how it used to be. What happened? When friends did well, we sang their <laughs> praises. Brought soup to comfort them when they felt low. Aww. That was sweet. Just every pony looking after each other. So the is that, that's, that's say... Remember folks, recolor art is theft. In our town at the end of the rainbow. So did he bring this on the town by not admitting that he actually cared for her and, you know, everything just kind of faded along with him? Grandpa made a gizmo called the Rainbow Generator. Oh dear. To paint the sky with lots of colors, shiny, bold, and bright. Right, well, okay, that's that's fiddling dangerously with the uh, with the magnetosphere, so... Grandpa passed it on to Dad, then it was my turn to make the pretty rainbows in the sky. What did you do? Then fences went up. We lost track of our neighbors. Each year passing dimming spirits all around. <laughs> Why? Why did this happen? You can't just throw this out and then not explain why. No pony had time to spend together in the town. I thought I knew exactly what. Right, no, you're just gonna leave that hang in there. And yeah, fiddling with this magical item that you have no idea how it works. Well done. But the extra magic was too much for the rainbow. Okay, no, yeah. He just screwed everything up. Okay. And I'm the one who brought the rainbow to an end. Well done, Mr. Mayor. You've destroyed your town's livelihood. Though, I don't, I don't know. You could sort of market yourself as a tourist destination anyway. I mean, there can't be that many black and white villages to come and visit. I tried for a long time to get every pony interested in the festival again. To remember what it's like to come together as a community and share the fun. But yeah, it turned out that they forgot that before they even screwed everything up. So, <sighs> Mr. Mayor, what kind of magic did you use on the rainbow generator? Oh, I'm not sure. So he was fiddling around with magic that he had no idea about, literally no clue about. Ah, oh, no wonder things went to hell. Hmm. If I could find out the type of magic you used, I might be able to reverse the spell. Well, have a look at this highly dangerous artifact and see what you can do. Hell, set it off again and it might drain even the grey from the place. I won't fib to you. It won't be easy. 
It's gotten so no pony even talks to each other anymore. Was was she missing a leg? Again, a little more disabled representation in these shows. This is exactly like planning a party, only bigger, cause it's a festival. <laughs> Which means more cupcakes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> cupcakes. I'm home. I've got a date with the bakery booth. <laughs> Try it! There's very little LSD in it. Hmm, an overall stylistic look to unify the sentiment of the celebration. That's what this festival needs. You mean like a rainbow? Yes, darling, yes, yes, but more complex, more thematic. Mm. Something like... Woo! Something like that! Oh, right, okay, so she's not just going to be some background thing then. She's appeared twice now, she's going to appear again. I hope she appears again. Mr. Mayor, seriously. Is there a fan club? Oh, you betcha. They're around. Somewhere. So those two, the twins, were the fan club then, weren't they? I'm gonna spruce up that billboard to let every pony know this here Rainbow Festival's back in business. So that'll be why they had the billboard up so high then, so it wasn't affected by the light draining, of the colour draining effects. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you don't mind, I, uh, I have a speech to work on. If those two aren't together by the end of this, this is an entirely massively wasted opportunity here. So, what's your plan? If magic caused this, maybe magic can solve it. Well, you know, you got to fight fire with fire, which is a really bad idea if you're employed as a firefighter. <sighs> oh, I was afraid of that. What? <laughs> you just try one spell, you know, magic can fix this. Shoot some out there and see what happens. Let me try. I mean, Rainbow's part of my name, right? Oh, oh, is she gonna rain boom? Oh, she is. Yeah. Okay, if nothing else, that's gonna inspire a little interest. Or apparently not. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, thanks for trying. I guess I need to do more research. <laughs> I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Look out! So you look out! Seriously, those two need to learn to work together a bit. <laughs> that could have ended badly. Uh, are and you okay? She could have done anything to save them then. For once she decided not to step in when someone needed help? It was just an accident. An accident that happened in front of you. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. They they are, aren't they? They are the fan club. Barley's the president. Pickle's the assistant president. <laughs> is that is that better than vice president? Or He knows all your best moves. So does she. We practice all of them. See, they can work together occasionally. They they can they can be cooperative with each other. Go ahead. Ask her. No, you ask her. Someone ask her? You do it. No, you do it. Some pony ask me. Thank you. Do you think maybe you could give us a lesson? Just a tiny one? Show us some of your moves? I'm fairly certain she'll be okay with this. Tell you what. If I like what I see, the three of us will put on a show at the Rainbow Festival. Oh. There we go. There's some incentive for you. There's still a Rainbow Festival? And we're going to perform at it? Well, someone's got to perform. The whole town should know there's a couple of future Wonderbolts living here. Okay, yeah, this this is the heartwarming Rainbow Dash that we've come to know and love. Did you hear that? She called us future Wonderbolts. Or future dropouts. Either way works. Okay, there we go. Bit of colour coming back. So it, it is, it's just down to raising hope again. It's gonna be one long party! Which starts now! X gonna give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. Maybe you can help us. We're here for the Rainbow Festival. You're all going to die here. Are you okay? I didn't say it wasn't. You didn't say it was. Oh. I'm walking here. I'm the one who brought the rainbow. She offered to repair your balloon for you. 
Screw off.